Hi, I'm Elizabeth and we're coming to you from the Hartford Vermont Municipal Building right here in the Select Board Chambers. And we've been talking about all things in the area and if we're talking Hartford Vermont, we have to talk about the Hartford Area Chamber of Commerce. I'm actually joined by one of the members. This is Lindsay of dailyuv.com and she's going to tell us about her experience being a member and maybe convince you to join. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. So I um, work with Subtext Media and we're the creators of dailyuv.com, which is a website that we're building for the Upper Valley. And so we're brand new. We're a brand new little tech startup in downtown White River Junction and just joined the chamber back in July and just have been reaping the benefits since. Um, things that we take advantage of is definitely the networking opportunities. Um, the staff r spends a lot of time just upselling their membership to the community. Mm -hmm. They're housed in the Queechee Gorge Visitor Center that sees about 150,000 um, people through it through the course of the year. And so you're just constantly getting referrals, especially as a um, Upper Valley events calendar and Upper Valley Marketplace. We're a great destination for um, local tourism, looking for different activities that you don't you know, traditionally find um, anywhere else. And the after hours have been great for us. It's 50 plus people from the community coming together. You get to network. Um, we often use it for user testing. So mm -hmm. we present the site and have people interact with it. And then you, you get you know a minute elevator pitch in front of these businesses um, to kind of let people know about things that are coming up, new features that we've developed. Um, and it's you know based on a $200 membership and it, you just constantly get return on your investment kind of month by month. Mm -hmm. And I, one thing about Chambers of Commerce, having been um, members of several with the different businesses I've been associated with and with my husband's own contracting businesses, oftentimes you're like, I really don't feel like I want to spend any more money. But if you were even thinking of spending that money on business cards or one advertisement in the paper, ask yourself, what am I really going to do to get tangible results? And exactly. business contacts face to face are still the best way to get concrete results. It really is. And we spend all of our marketing budget with like two goals in mind, how to interact with the community and how to drive traffic to the website. And we don't spend a dollar that doesn't kind of attribute to those goals. And this was an easy return on investment. We're a small startup. Um, it was $200 for the base fee plus a couple dollars per employee. Mm -hmm. And you just reap all of the benefits. Um, we get a business listing on the Chamber's website. Um, that that drives traffic to our site again just the constant referrals and that face-to-face -face is just something that we can't get in a building behind our computers um, mm -hmm. so it forces us out of the office and the chamber spends the time gathering the audience and you just have to show up and have usually a free drink and a bunch of great mm -hmm. appetizers and yeah it's a great time. And the thing is, is like if you're the kind of person who says like, I don't like going out in public, I'm too busy with my business. Well, the mm -hmm. great thing about the after hours is they're spaced in such a way where if you can't make one, make the next one. Exactly. Or if you're more comfortable in a certain venue, try that. But really, you can you can take your pick and figure out what works best with your schedule. Yeah, and the Hartford Chamber partners with area chambers, so it's just it's more worth your while because it's just the entire community. They also have different types of after hour mixers. The last one I just attended was in conjunction with the Norwich Business Council, and it was more of like a business speed dating. Mm -hmm. And so you really spent time talking to 20 people for one to two minutes with your ele elevator speech. And you just left with so many leads and so many contacts um, for follow up later that it was really worth your time. And you didn't have to kind of mull around awkwardly kind of winking at people to say hi. <laughs> um, one thing I love about chambers also is, is you need to think of them as, as an investment in the community because chamber members are people typically who want to give back, who know town officials, who work with local charities and nonprofits. So as a business person, if you're really asking, how do I give back to my community in a way, really becoming a chamber member just dovetails that. Exactly. As much as you reap the benefits, kind of return on your investment, you're also donating to a nonprofit that supports the community with um, local scholarships. They run this huge community event every year, um, as well as some free events throughout the year. They're just really involved in the community. I'd like to think that the Hartford Chamber is so much different than the, the, um, many of those like traditional chambers that you see, just because they're always trying to keep up with the times, always trying to engage a new audience, and really trying to just keep themselves relevant, and they're doing a great job. Well, I want to thank you, Lindsay, and hopefully her firsthand experience with being a young startup in this area has shown you that the Hartford Area Chamber is something for you, if that's the place you want to do business and be known for helping your community. Thank you.